I just played uh, Snoop uh, Gangsta Life. You know, that, that was yeah. one of my favorite joints right there. That's one of my, I guess, interactions with you. Then I did your mixtape, then yep. you took me to Crenshaw. Yeah, you, you actually took me to the hood. Yeah, you. Uh, who cared was on 8th Avenue and 60th? I actually at jumped the out the car and, and like, jumped in the car. Nah, <laughs> you was on set, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, you can't go. <laughs> I'm gonna put the photos up, yeah. and I actually wore blue that day so I could be called. But it doesn't matter now. Man, you whole kid, man. You got love everywhere, man. Niggas ain't tripping on that. You took me, and then that's why I like about like understanding who the artist is first. Like yeah. you took me to like the hood, your friends. Like yeah, yeah. I had to understand who you were. No question. And I, I, I can understand why you were furious with the complex thing because they really don't know who you are. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I always do my research, whether it's you or. Fuck it, uh, I mean, anybody who's out there from, yeah. like, you know, all the West Coast artists, all the new dudes that's out with Khalifa. Yeah. I mean, you got to understand who they are first before you even make a judgment. Absolutely. And I see you fucking, uh, you quote, your quote was crazy, man. Yeah. Nah, you, I, I wasn't even going to do the interview. Fuck I, your interview. <laughs> yeah, I told him, I told him, give me 10 bands for yeah, the interview. Yeah, it's 10,000. Y'all yeah. let you charge me, God. Nah, you my nigga. You know that. That's This shit on the strength, man. I'll give you a quick uh, $100 or something. I mean, like, you know, I was like, man, that's crazy. You know, tell them niggas 10 bands and we cool. <laughs> but I copied everybody on the email just so they, you know, they could see it. And, um, uh, I think the convo, it kind of, we got a better understanding. I didn't know that that was Mark Echo uh, oh, okay. publication until after the fact. And I'm a fan of Mark Echo. I yeah. think he a real dude. He's a cool know? guy. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. actually on my show next week, actually. Yeah, he yeah. got a book out, too, that he mm. sent me, and I got a chance to thumb through it. And I'm, I'm going to go on and finish reading it. But, you know, it was it was healthy for us to talk about it, and they let me be myself, and they didn't edit the the, uh, the interview or none of that, so it was cool. You know, and then the thing that, that that's kind of crazy is, uh, you know, I... I Felt like the anger too when I saw that. Yeah, with you so. Yeah, but yeah. I can understand like everybody in your hood is probably like yo, because you can't go to your hood and talk nah, shit about nah, you. Nah, so. man. Nah, and it's it's not yeah. even just the hood, just in L. A. Just yeah. knowing people that know the story. Like man, that nigga came out the trunk for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That nigga really was on Crenshaw Slauson out his trunk when he was 16, telling niggas he finna go, he finna do this. You know what I mean? And it wasn't popular at that time. Mm. Niggas was gang banging. So for me to say I'm about to sell my CD and I'm about to promote something positive, it was like, yeah, all right, homie, you know what I'm saying? And I had to fight for that. I had to, I had to really like defend my dream because it was like in that area, it's like you ain't, you ain't full time killing. You ain't, you know, on a mission every day. Damn, yeah, yeah. You ain't, you ain't with the bullshit. But I was. It was just, I was, and not not with the kill. I'm just saying, I was full throttle with all the other shit. But I was like, you know, this is what I'm doing. And I'm not ashamed of my dream. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna stand up and and live what I believe in. You mm. know what I'm saying? So. When people start seeing it work and continue to work and you know what I'm saying, our our rise, it was like something that a lot of people was inspired by and respected. So to see a a third party, you know, tourist tourist, that's what I call them dudes that write about the culture that ain't from it. They tourists, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And, you know, we could revoke <laughs> their visa at any given moment. Yeah, you know, they yeah, can get up out of here. Yeah. To see them write some shit like that, I was just like, damn, and I still ain't respond until they Threw a rock and hit their hand. That's what I call it. They double back after we dropped the mixtape. Like, man, we've been a fan since day one. We love the interview. Mm. You made more in a mixtape than motherfuckers do 20,000 copies. Like, yeah, in yeah. one week? Yeah. I saw lines, like, yeah, it was. Even when the, you know, we're going to come right back because I want to, because we did research on why Jay Z loved your mixtape. Maybe you don't know, but I'll All give right. you some tips on. I know Jay Z's personal likes. Yeah, yeah. And then I heard your whole mixtape and I came up with my own That's analysis right. why Jay Z. Probably went crazy off of your mixtape. So we'll be right back. Let me let me get into my favorite joint because you know uh, Mary Jean's gonna be DJing your shit. You know she, that's right. Yeah. She be mixing yeah, out she there. On the, deck. the moisture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Mary Jean, I think you need to uh, get into uh, number eight. Don't take days off. Can, can you get into that for me real quick? Um, I don't know. I, I'm a little hot. Like I have to like call Eminem or you have to oh. and tell him to like cut the AC up. Yeah, hey. it's fucking hot That's in bad here. for the moisture. She's getting, she's getting a little hot right now. I don't know, man. She's <laughs> getting me nervous right now. What happened, yo? Now a whole crowd's walking by. All right, all right. So, all right so, so, you can't be so shy. shy. She's a porn star. You're shy. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she's getting hot. What do they say when they get hot? Yeah, Dipsy, yo. What the hell's going on? Yeah, she's taking her shit off right now. Instagram. Wait, hey, man. Oh, look. A little white lace. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, your, yeah. Your, man, your man is like, exactly. hey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> Everything's coming off now. Oh, God. Don't be shy. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's shy. white lace. Yeah. <laughs> well, while, while, while she's getting comfortable over there with her uh, see-through, we did some analysis <laughs> on uh, Jay-Z loving your album. One thing is, uh, let me see here. Uh, Jay-Z is a, a, a super 
fan of Sade, and you have a Sade sample on there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Whole yeah. kid getting distracted right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, this is show Can you going zip on. me up? I can zip you down. I can't zip that you up. That sounds like the yeah. art. Of, yeah. I can zip you know, you know, what you know, doing? Uh, taking this off? Oh, are you zipping it back up? Oh, yeah, I can't help you with that. No, I can't help you with that. I ain't really zipping shit up. That ain't love, my style. I love the joke. You know what I'm saying? Nah. I can't He's help really you. leaving me hanging. I can't help too. you with zipping nothing up. That ain't what I do. So you do have a Sade sample on there. Yeah. And he will do anything for Sade. That's what's up. And I think that's one of the key things. And don't take. Uh, any days off is a Beyonce sample. Did exactly. you know that? Yeah, I did. That's from the uh, Dance for You record. So we uh made we came to the conclusion that I think those two records on there yeah. will seal the fucking deal. That's right. Buying a hundred mixtapes. Yeah. Sitting at ten G's. Yeah. Having you go to Louis and buy up everything out there. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like yo, I mean, aren't you like you impress Jay Z? Like yeah, you're like ten thousand miles away. Like I don't understand. Like were you like shocked? You know, Jay being a nigga that's self-made and, you know what I'm saying, started from the bottom, I think he respect, like, the lane we took just with not signing and, you know what I mean, staying indie and just trying to figure it out ourselves. <clears throat> and so when that, when that, the news hit, we were selling 400, you know, we got a lot of criticism. That's very creative, though. That's like, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. My shit is fucking, I, I worked hard for this no shit. No question. I went to the studio. Yeah. I spit the shit on here. Yeah, I paid the rent. I bought the equipment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we hustle up for the beats, you know? And I see my fan or, or the people that fuck with it, you know, I'll be I'll be around and I know how connected they are. I see lyrics tattooed on people and, you know what I'm saying, street niggas that wouldn't even, you know, speak on shit, mm. humble they self and be like, Nip, man, you know, I fuck with what you doing and you know what I'm saying. That's some real shit that you got people running to pay a hundred yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah, no question. Then like the man came through, you know, I seen his name on the on the paper. Yeah. Fucking receipt joint. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's my, my hard boy. God. <laughs> Yeah, mixtape was a hundred. The bullets ain't got no Man, name. We, we go- sold that shit ten dollars. So, come on, son. <laughs> Our mixtape was a hundred dollars. Yeah. Come on, son. You know this. This song, come it on, don't man. stop. Who cares? We gonna double back, man. On trip. You know. Nah, oh but oh my god, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm running through my favorites. Let me tell you my favorites on uh, the internet. Favorites H Town. Yeah. Featuring Cobby, Dom yeah. Kennedy, you know that's, what that, man? That's, the, that's the internet favorite out there. But my favorites are, of course, Don't Take in Days Off. I just played that Blessings. Yeah, that's Karen Silver. That one of her favorites, is, too. Oh, that's Karen Silver's yeah, favorite. She, right there? she she never speak about nothing. She like, that's dope, man. You know? Yo, I love the fucking Go Long featuring Zero and Slim Thug, yo. Yeah. I was always a fan of Zero that and shit is Slim. Hard body, son. Yeah, like, yeah. So, you know, I, I just reached out to um to Zero. And he was like, yeah, I fuck with you, Nip. And we've been trying to get a record. Them niggas came to L.A. And they came to the studio. And we just did that shit on the spot, you know? So most of the uh, work was uh, everybody came through and, and, and kicked it and got their shit popping? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I got a studio in downtown L.A. So, oh. you know, when when people come in town and I fuck with, they'll hit me. And I just have them come by the lab. Sometimes we work. Sometimes we just chop it what, up and shit. What did Snoop Dogg say about the mixtape? I'm sure he heard it. And, you know, he respects you like 100 fucking Damn. percent. I didn't get to holler at Snoop recently, Bro? man. It was his birthday a couple days ago. Yeah, I seen, like, yeah. I seen uh, everybody tweeting, uh, tweeting Snoop, so happy birthday to my nigga. But, you know, he busy doing his thing. We ain't get to chop it yet, but, you know, I kind of know Snoop to the point where he respect grind, he respect hustle. So Thank you. I'm glad that, you know, you should charge like a buck fifty though. Know? <laughs> yeah, we talking about, Next one. you know, going up on the, on the price. You now think we, you go up 200? I nah, think we actually, do that shit, man. I mean, they probably would, but I ain't going to just get money hungry because it wasn't about the money. It was just about yeah. the statement. But we're going to do, you know, if you look at the CD, it's a logo to say proud to pay. Mm. And so we're going to offer everything I do for free because it's 2013. Music is a choice. You don't have to buy shit if you don't want to. Mm. So everything I do, I'm going to give it away free and I'm going to make a proud to pay version. And if they want to support, they could buy the proud to pay version, whether it's a book or a DVD or a CD or any of the content we do. Mm. We're going to, the proud to pay version is how they support and. It's going to be premium price, but it's going to come with, like, one-of-a-kind experiences every time it'll be something different. You know, uh, Ski, uh, Mary mm-hmm. Jean is uh, charging $100 a peak of her pussy. Yeah, I didn't pass so, 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 so what would you do? Be more what than would that. you rather I would, I, would pay, I would pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we got the mixtape up here for a buck fifty right now. Damn. Only on Shade 4 5. Yeah. Hurry the fuck up. You know, <laughs> I got 12 up here. A buck fifty. I'm, I'm getting some yeah, G's off this eBay shit. Let's eBay these, man. Eat, my nigga. Fuck eight. crack, nigga. Let's eBay these shits, too. They selling out. Like, I think yeah. I might buy some just like, you know, to house and sell it. They got them shits for like 220 going up like 225 yeah, like you autograph some i guess at some event 
Oh, yeah, shit. yeah. Some, some the first thousand signed copies. A bunch of these. We signed the number. 225 is on eBay. 225, right? 240. Yeah, so. Yo, let's get some of these signed. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, but know. we got Mary Jean's <laughs> pussy for a peak for a That's buck. True. So I'm selling that too. Yeah. Yo, you getting it all. You got me on some entrepreneurial <laughs> hey, shit. Hey, man, right I can't now, knock buddy. your hustle, kid. You know, I feel it. Yo, yo, Ski, man, I know you got 100 on you, man. <laughs> got shit. I'm down. I see you got Boys in the Hood in the intro. Yeah. Is that a skit you've always been trying to use for, for years? Or you used it, you know, I mean, it's classic. Yeah. Intro. You know, that's something we identified with when we watched the movie. Rolling especially. 60s and shit. Yeah, like our <laughs> area. When we heard that, we like, damn, you know, we on the map. Even though we was already on the map, but to see like Hollywood mm. be conscious of like the block we grew up on, 60th Street, and mm. it be in a movie as big as Boys in the Hood. Cause that's real. The police pull you over and ask you where you from and check Pol your tattoos. The police is dirty like that, yo. Some of them, most, you know, gang police, crash unit police, they yeah, automatically uh, aggressive. What? Yeah. Is it over? You, you left it behind? Man, I don't got rap beef. Yeah. Or oh, you just have like street shit. Then. And then even the street shit, like, you know, that's life. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing for us to. Especially with this added success. And then now you're going to see people popping up again. You were in your hiatus doing your mixtape, getting yeah. your shit ready. Yeah. Now you're back in the light. You think these idiots will be back again? I to mean, annoy you? again, like, I think they just playing themselves, man. Because I, I, I look at the world from a real nigga perspective. Mm. So when niggas do clown shit and they do, like, publicity stunts and all that, I don't even pay attention to that shit. Because yeah. I feel like all the real niggas know what that is. It's like the, the unassuming... You know, Joe Schmoes that ain't really from the world we from that be like, oh, he dissed him or he did all. Real niggas like, this nigga's a clown. He ain't yeah. serious about what he's doing. If you really had an issue, you wouldn't go to record with the shit. And so, like, you know, it's part of the game. I accept it. I'm glad that you are. I've been playing your shit for years. And that bitch you broke is the biggest fucking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You were watching. Yo. Hard. Yeah. God. Shout out to that YG and Mustard, out. man. You know, they good at what they do. What's the reversal? Like, you, you, you could take it no more. Because usually, now this year, niggas is respecting their yeah. dicks now. They're like, fuck that bitch. We ain't getting this dick, yo. Man. You broke, yo. <laughs> yeah. Listen to you. Fuck okay. out of here. Yeah. They learn, yeah. man. Just get the stepping, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't respect my dick, but I'm looking at my dick like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't fucking everybody right now. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, you got why, to, why, why man. Made you, like, why made that, that stepped off? Like, you know, like, you know. I got to get a credit to YG. He had the record already. And he like, Nip, man, I got one for us. He sent it to me. And yeah. I, it was easy. You know, we all experience situations in life where you be like, you know, it just, you, a bitch might, or a female might be like on the outside, on the on the, on the skin. She might be bad or something, but. She's, uh, she's a bum. You, like, I look at it like how they look at it. Like, you know, if you was in my position, would you be fucking with you? Hell no, you wouldn't. So fuck yeah. you, get up out of here, you know? <laughs> no dis <laughs> like, just being being honest, like, yeah. you gotta be equal or above. Not just financially, but just mentally, just on a level. How does it feel to see, like, you know, Greystone, Playhouse, like, you know, you guys are getting played instead yeah. of it being, like, South and... Yeah. A little bit of East. They ain't no yeah. East no more, is there? They don't play I mean, East records over there except Jay Z. French. They play yeah. French. Oh, French, French Montana. Yeah, 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 yeah French you know. one in the club right now. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. But, but, but how does it feel to see that, though, that you guys are like finally supporting? But that's how it used to be. It used to be like you maybe get one at West Coast record out, you know, even out there, even in the West Coast. Now it's, you know, it's totally flipped over. Yeah. That's crazy. Even the radio. But I think you got to force people's hand, man. You can't expect favors. This shit ain't about sympathy. This shit about forcing their hand you know this is power yeah. and power ain't never been given you always gotta take power you know what i'm saying so the classic shit is i saw a big boy doing that fucking bitch you bro oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but yeah. he tried to he broke his i think he broke his left rib damn <laughs> it was crazy yo. i was like yo, yeah. you all right man we, whatever let's go yeah shout out to big boy that's <laughs> a big homie,